Throughout this season of Lent, we have heard the painful reality that we live in. That there is sin in this world. And that we, too, sin in this world. And that realization has come to a climax this morning. When in our passion reading that we just finished, all of us said together, crucify, crucify him. (coughs) We are not without blame. But in the midst of all this, we do have some hope. And that hope comes from the criminal, the other criminal that was next to Jesus. This criminal is the only person that we see in the story who stands up for Jesus, who recognizes Jesus' innocence in all of this. Now, this criminal knows that what he has done is wrong. He knows that he is getting the punishment that he deserves. And yet, in the midst of all of that, not only does he recognize Jesus' innocence, but he also asks Jesus to remember him, simply to remember him when Jesus comes into his kingdom. And Jesus' words back to him are, Truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. This is the hope for us, because we are that criminal. We too have done wrong, and we know that we have done wrong. But all it takes is for us to open ourselves up, to want Jesus to be there in our lives, in order for Jesus to come in, in order for him to be present with us. All it takes is for us to have faith, for us to trust in Jesus for us to enter with him into his kingdom.